Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday the 15th of May. I'm Reverend Nicole and it's my privilege to welcome you again to the rectory in Brankston as we pray together. Today, if you're following along in your prayer book, our service begins on page 413. Our psalm is Psalm number 30 on page 249. And our reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 13, beginning at the 12th verse. Let us pray together. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's grace. I invite you to pray that with me. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm number 30. It begins on page 249. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up from the depths and have not suffered my foes to triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you and you have made me whole. You brought me back, O Lord, from the land of silence. You saved my life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, all you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For if in his anger is havoc, in his good favour is life. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Your goodness, O Lord, has set me on so firm a hill. Then you hid your face from me, and I was greatly dismayed. I cried to you, O God, and made my petition humbly to my Lord. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Can the dust give you thanks or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my lamentation into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded with me with joy, that my heart may sing your praise and never be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading from the Bible today is John's Gospel. Chapter 12, beginning, chapter 13, beginning at the 12th verse. After Jesus had washed their feet, had put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. 
Very truly, I tell you. Servants are no greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know who I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture. The one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now, before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. Let us take a moment to reflect on our readings. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, Saviour of the World, I invite you to pray this with me. Jesus, Saviour of the World, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When, you, when they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now collect prayer today. Saving God, who called your church to witness that you were in Christ reconciling the world to yourself, Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be reconciled to you, through him who died for us and rose again, and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this new day, and for the many blessings that it holds before us. We thank you for the sights and sounds of life, for the birds that sing, for the warm sun, and for each other. We continue to pray for the, all those who have been affected by the coronavirus, for those who have died and their families as they mourn, for those who are sick and for all who care for them, for doctors and nurses, caring for people in our hospitals, families caring for people in their homes, for all who work in research and development, diagnosing the disease and also for those working uh, to create a vaccine and find a cure. And we pray that you would help their efforts to be successful. We pray for people all around the world. We 
We pray for the church. We pray for our sister diocese, the Diocese of Guadalcanal, for the clergy and people there. We pray for our bishops, for Bishop Peter and Bishop Sonia and Charlie, his assistants. We give thanks for their ministry among us and particularly for their leadership. We pray for them and their families. We pray for the clergy and people of the parishes of Musselbrook, Raymond Terrace, St Albans, Scone and Singleton. For the staff, students and their families and the school chaplains of Lake Grimmer and Anglican School. For the Anglican Board of Mission, for aid agencies and not-for-profit organisations. We pray too for the First Peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Biripai, the Darkingyung, the Gewegal, the Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for their elders past, present and emerging. Continue to pray for the leaders of this nation in parliaments and in the public service, giving thanks too for their leadership. We pray for all among us who are sick. We pray for those whom each of us holds in our hearts. And we pray for those whose names are known only to you. Loving Lord, we pray for your love and compassion to abound as we walk through this challenging season. We ask for wisdom for those who bear the load of making decisions with widespread consequences. We pray for those who are suffering from sickness and for all who are caring for them. We ask for protection for the elderly and vulnerable to not succumb to the risks of virus. We pray for misinformation to be curbed, that fears may take no hold in our hearts and minds. As we exercise the good sense that you in your mercy provide, may we also approach each day in faith and peace, trusting in the truth of your goodness towards us. Amen. Now morning collect. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit, that we may give ourselves to you, to your service, and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless each of you with all that you need for this day. Amen.